So you want to be a crane operator. How do you go about doing something like that? Well, first of all, I have a couple questions for you. Are you lazy? Then don't bother. All right, this is not a profession where you're going to sit on your butt all day long, never get up, never do nothing. Just go on and forget about it because it ain't for you. All right, you're always uh, getting out moving, moving pads, swinging jibs, doing crap like that. If you're lazy, go somewhere else. We don't want you. Are you scared of climbing? Or are you too fat to climb? Too out of shape to climb? Don't bother, all right? Uh, if you're scared of heights, you know, when you're an apprentice, you're gonna be climbing up on boom, beating in pins, and uh, you know, you're gonna have to deal with heights. Uh, pretty much any company that anyone that I've ever uh, known that I've worked for I've only been doing it for seven years. So I'm still a baby in the operating community, but Any any company that I know of you're gonna have to deal with heights. All right, so if you're scared of them Just go don't bother. All right, you can't show up to work or you want to show up late. Don't bother We don't need you. You got to be reliable you're gonna shut down a whole multi-million dollar operation because you went out and got wasted or you stayed up too late, too late at night diddling your girlfriend or what you know whatever we don't want you just don't even bother all right do you do you crush under the weight of responsibility does uh decision making not come easily to you i mean uh it if, if you're the man and it's up to you to make the decision on how to get the job done, are you going to fold uh, or are you going to rise up and, and, and get the job done? Hey man, if you fold, it's okay, but don't be a crane operator because there's going to be a million different opportunities and different uh, times throughout your career. All the way to getting this job done is going to be on you and uh if you if you don't do it it's gonna cost all this money and all this time and all these people say you know it's gonna be a lot of pressure bro uh you don't want to be a responsibility uh responsible for other people's lives in your hands listen bro i hold uh you know tens of thousands hundreds of thousands of pounds over people's heads and you know you want to go out and get wasted or something you know and Oh, fall asleep, not off in a crane, and you know, bump a bump a lever or something, and crush somebody, bro. This is not for you. All right, you gotta be focused. You gotta be mentally stable, uh, reliable, uh, good hand-eye coordination, real good depth perception helps a lot. Other than that, so if you if you if you said, hey man, I passed all those tests, I'm not lazy. I'm not scared of climbing. I'll show up to work on time. I'm okay with the responsibility and having people's lives in my hands. I can make decisions. All right, good, we want you. All right, go down to your uh, local uh, international union operating engineers and try to get on as an apprentice. All right, ask them what their requirements are. Uh, here in Tampa at uh, 925, what I did, I had my CDL from way back. Uh, even before I went to the army. So I didn't have to worry about that. But the first thing you want to do is go get your CDL. How do you do that? Well, first of all, you got to study for the written exam. All, you know, they got all kinds of apps for that. You know, there's an app for that. Study for your written exam, or you go on the DMV website and download their brochure, you know, whatever the book. I don't think they actually have the physical books no more. So you have to get, you know, the ebook or whatever to study. Or they got, you know, one of the apprentices told me that the, the, the application on Android that he studied was almost word for word for the test that he took. So do that. Go take your written test. It's not that bad. Study for a week or two. You know, two if you're not that smart. Three if you're not that smart. It's okay. It's work. You know, you got to go. You got to go out for it. If, you know, if you're one of those whiz kids that can study for a couple days, just go whip out the test, go do it. All right, then you got to find somebody that'll give you your pre-trip physical test and your uh, your uh, your driving test. 
you know, that's going to cost you $700,000 or whatever. Uh, I don't know, it was 500 when I took it back in 2006. But uh, I think the guy, one of the princes said he had it done for seven or 800 bucks. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. Go get your CDL. You will never be without work again. They're short on drivers everywhere. You'll get as many hours as you want. Uh, go get your CDL. Once you have your CDL in your hand, you have all kinds of bargaining power. Go down to the to the union hall and sell yourself. Sell yourself. Tell them, you know, hey, I don't mind, you know, cleaning the toilet. I'll, I'll scrub that crane clean. I'll do whatever it takes. You teach me a good trade. I'm gonna make, you know, some decent money in. Uh, I know all kinds of guys making over a hundred. I've made, you know, 80, you know, 85, pretty much, 88, 90, uh, pretty much every year. Uh, lowest I made was 66, my first apprentice year, I think. Uh, I've worked a lot of hours, though. So, if you go down there and you sell yourself, you got to have something to sell. You got to believe in yourself. Go down there and sell yourself that you're going to work hard. They're looking for good apprentices, I promise you, right now. I don't know, you know, when you watch this video, but right now they need some good apprentices. So that's what you need to do, man. That's how you get into it. If you have any questions, leave a uh, leave a comment. Ask me. I'm gonna start checking this stuff. Uh, if it helped you out at all, thumbs up. That's good. Subscribe. Whatever. Thank you. Have a good day.